Alright, hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. We're playing Europa Universalis 4. I'm putting doing a number 4 on my hands means absolutely nothing. Now, guys, we're actually playing as an Arabian nation. We're actually been playing as Oman. Why did I choose Oman? One, they are like the Portugal of the East. And the fact that they're kind of like on the edge of their landmass, however, which right here, obviously. And we have a quarter. Well, obviously I can't see it now, but we have about 21% of, uh, 21% of the trade here in the Gulf of Aden, which is huge. Number two, we have a, um, a special religion. We have a body. And we are the only religion, only faction in the game that has the Abadi religion as our state religion. Abadi exists over here in um, Algiers. I believe it also does in Mo Morocco. That religion province Abadi. However, neither of them have that as their state religion. So that actually makes it useful, where you can get the um, the defender of the faith. Um, we can get the Fender of the Faith and we won't have to deal with any uh, declarations of wars. None of the things are religion because we're the only ones. Let's go back. Mani, we have our we have a pretty bad leader. It's nothing like I wish we had Ethiopia's leader, because that'd be insane. Now, uh, Omani ideas. We got morale of navies, morale of maintenance modifier. Local merchant preference. A bunch of things that boost our trade. However, the one thing that I really like personally is association with unbelievers. There are, there are those who believe that we should not associate with unbelievers at all. We have done much to squash this. It's only through associating with unbelievers will we be able to trade with them. Tolerance of heathens plus two. This is insanely huge. This gives us like huge bonuses if we're dealing with them. Um, Countries are of a different religion, not just a different sect of ours, which is Islam, a different religion altogether. Like, um, Coptic is in, um, the Christian group. Uh, you have Hinduism. Confucianism, Buddhism is down here. Shinto, Orthodox, Animist, whatever. We have a bonus. We actually have a, um, less negative relations to, uh, outside religions than other sects of Islam. This is definitely something we're going to have to use to our advantage. We're making friends with a bunch of these guys. Now, Ethiopia is going to become one of my friends. Although, not quite yet when we start out with. Alright, so let's get into this game. So, my general strategy is I'm probably going to end up either taking a province from, um... Either Yemen or Najd, depending on which ones um, they give me the bonus, give me the mission for. Now, since we are a body and we're the only ones, we're gonna actually have a problem where every province we will ever conquer will have a different religion, unless we somehow get over here. However, I highly doubt that. We will also have the problem that we have the Ottomans, the Mamluks, and the Timurids in between us. Karak Koyunlu really isn't that problem much of a problem because they'll get absorbed because they'll have a, they'll be smushed in between the Ottomans and the Timbrids. So it won't be too hard to deal with. I break my neck probably. Let's set in our missions. Oh, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that because Yemen allies with a at all. And right now we don't have a combined military force to take up both of them. So I'm actually going to hold on that one. I am going to do however I'm going to go after Najd. And actually an alliance with Hansa. Oh, but that's the problem. Since we're different reli since we're heretic religions, we're going to we can't really do it. However, what we can do is, um, I'm actually going to straight up sell these cogs. I don't really need them. And I'm actually going to make more uh, trade ships. I'll move my army here into Nizwa. No, 
I'm gonna build a Muslim foot soldier and a Muslim cavalry. And I'm also gonna sit uh, one of my diplomats. I'm also gonna set one of my diplomats over here, fabricate a claim on Binyas. Why Binyas? Binyas will give me another port. Actually, it will give me a port in the Basra trade trade node, which will help me reel in a bit more money. Right now, we don't have any power in this. Right now, none. However, getting more uh, cities in there. Actually, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna try and conquer this coast first. And then we'll maybe move into Yemen. Uh, and we're probably not going to go in the Alexandria trade node yet. Now, the one people I'm going to want to ally with are Hedjaz. However, not yet. Relations, send it in salt. Yes, there we go. We took the decision. Prove our prestige. This will be fantastic. Very good, get one free prestige. Now the problem with Oman is I've had this every time I test. Really? Oh wait, that's my country. Dude, it's 84. I don't even know how he's still alive. So our leader could die at any point in this, in this first year. And very often he will. Now, yeah, they allied with Adron. Oh no, we still want to go after Naj first. They won't ally with both of them, will they? I sure hope not. Now, what advantages does Oman have? They have a very good trading base. But now it's dropped to 20. To 19, that's not good. We're gonna want to build this up. What? All right, let's look at our advantages. We are near Africa, and if we can expand where Yemen is, we can actually come here to our conquering Africa. And there's a lot of gold mine provinces here. I believe Ethiopia has one. Yes, Ethiopia has one. Ivory. There should be gold. Yeah. A lot of ivory. We're going to want to be careful about those gold provinces that we don't get over inflation. However, the ivory will be very valuable. And actually, if we really wanted to, we could head into, um... We could actually expand into India if we wanted to. That would actually be something that would be possible. And I believe since we're on this... Oh, it probably has to be a continuous line, but I'm not sure. Now, we're... We are completely void of any European politics, except the Balkans. The Balkans are important for politics-wise for us, because right now they have no effect. And one of the biggest effects we'll have is with the Ottomans. The Ottomans are really going to limit our power, because eventually they'll, they'll start taking land from the Mamluks. And if we're trying to take over the Arabian Peninsula, the Ottomans will become a big problem. However, if we can ally with the Ottomans, this would be perfect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I said as I already did, I'm gonna start building up a trade fleet. I'll actually send my existing trade fleet out. We're gonna hit send you the Indus. We're forming Naj. Now what I could do is I could actually work to make an alliance with Hassa. I actually like this. Um, I'm actually surprised he sent it to me. Offer an alliance? Hell yeah, I'll, I'll, I want that alliance. Well, okay, now this is big, because I haven't had this happen once in any of my test games. This is big, because now we have someone to cover our, our advance. They might not necessarily stop Najd, however, they will act as a, act as a buffer. Which is going to be very good. And assuming we ever fight Yemen, they will also be very good. And I may let Hassa exist. Because of them having control of the northern area of the Arabian Peninsula. Will act as a perfect buffer state. Because I don't want... Nothing up here will be valued to me. I don't even want to try and toy in the Alexandrian trade mode. What I want is these provinces. 
look at the train map mode again while the game's still running. I want Indus, I mean I want Ceylon, Indus, and Gulf of Aden, and Zanzibar. That is where I want to invest my money. Indus probably won't happen. We can get a good amount of power in Indus, and some here in Ceylon. However, it's really, really going to be important that we get trade power in Zanzibar and the Gulf of Aden. Gulf of Aden will be our trade node, our home node, and Zanzibar has a lot of very rich provinces that we can steer a lot of trade to. Due to this, I believe, being one of the only places you can get a... <clears throat> you can get tusks. Alright, struggle of power. The Navanite dynasty held power for over three centuries, but in the 15th century, it started being questioned by elected imams. The struggle continued until the dynasty had lost control over the country. Now, we can gain 30 piety if we submit to the imam. Where Sultan rules an imam, we can lose 30 piety. Uh, and I can gain 20 legitimacy, which is what I do want. It. Now, Islamic denominations, their piety affects their bonuses. Right now, I have plus 8% national tax modifier. Plus 8% national manpower modifier and minus 4% technology cost. Now, make a note here. It says declare war on infidels will increase your power, will declare war on other Muslim nations will decrease it. That's not worded out correctly. Infidels refers to everyone who is not your religion. Declaring war on other Muslim denominations like Shia and Sunni, however, does will increase your piety. And that is gonna be something more important because I wanna keep a low piety. Because it will give me minus ten percent technology cost plus twenty percent tax modifier, will give me a lot more money and twenty percent manpower modifier. But right now that's gonna be important. However, this also gives us some pretty good stuff. We have plus 3%. Missionary strength would be extremely useful for our religion. Morale of armies plus 10% and plus 20% fort defense. Now, our religion is a body, so we have plus 10% morale to our navies, which is very good. And a 100% increase on the new air, which is huge. We're basically guaranteed to get an air. And right now, I already have an air. Ugh. It's so dead. Anyway, a second, um, this army is ready. There we go, we got one of my new ships ready. I'll send you to Indus. I could have sworn I was making two boats. You know what? I'll, I want to keep I want to keep my options open, so I won't do that yet. You don't know this is actually pretty decent in general. We have three, two maneuver, two siege, which would be important. Not as much shock and fire, however, this will work out pretty well. Because why? I, I don't want to risk Najd doing anything about it. However, right now I don't think they will. So we'll speed this up and to yeah. That's what I'm talking about, how he dies, like, in five minutes. However, now I can do these. Missionary Strength, Natural Revolt Risk. Those have absolutely no negative effects that I'm aware of. Now, let's look at my country. Wait! He had a kid when he was five? I'm just gonna assume that's not his son. I'm gonna hope it's not it's his brother. Personality human, now he's 15, now we'll have a long time without our um, Sultan dying, and assuming we can actually conquer Beni Yas will give us the, uh, the prestige we need to get that one stability up. And I. Alright, let's keep moving up. And I don't have this set in Iron Man because um, I want to do uh, recording saves in case anything stops working. All right, now Hassa will join us. Very good. Declare war on Sunni is glorious in the eyes of God. Increase our piety by 25. I'm not sure if I agree. I don't so other 
Islamic denominations um, declare one if they're based on the text the game's given. Or if they change your text, that'd be perfectly fine with too. Small thing. Alright, Naj has no fleet. Good. It seems our trade fleet will be perfectly fine to continue trading. Now, what happens in India will be huge, too. India, Africa, and the Arabian Peninsula are going to focus most of our attention because the, the Tamrids really do bounce up the power. However, the thing is, um, if Hindustan or the Mughals form, then we have a problem because that will definitely um, affect things how they're going. No, I really do want to go help my friends. The Hassa. And I have an army of eight, so I should be able to crush theirs pretty well. My... Uh, I should be able to sweep them right through. There we go, let's head back to Binyasa. Binyas. Hassa. I really prefer if you went, um... What's the word? Actually did something. However, I think that's a hundred... Yeah, basically a hundred percent desert and just some coastline. There's very little desert here. Yemen and Hejaz have a lot of, de of mountains. Well, will make attacking some of their forts a bit harder. Hassa is actually doing awesome by there, not letting them come through. Then leave, uh... We're not letting that one army leave. And you know what? As long as I have an army right there, they can't come into Liwa and can't come into my territory. I don't know why they wouldn't even want to cross the toe of air anyway. Peasants simply had no voice. Right now, I can't deal with this, so I have to take the prestige hit. Be fine though. Oh, you're stupid. Why would you keep making troops there? That is a problem, though. However, hopefully the Hassa... Hopefully Hassa... Will do something about it. And of course, they're not taking up the army I wanted them to. Uh, ooh, and I'll... Ooh. Yes, Hedjaz, yes. This is fantastic. What this will allow me to do is I can, um... I can head into Yemen, and I'm pointing, I'm pointing at the screen right now, however none of you can see it. Um, I can take Ye I can attack Yemen, and I'll have Hedjaz able to back me up from the north, so I can take care of Adol too. This is actually coming out to go pretty well, and this is when I found out I didn't start the recording. Good, I got what I wanted. Oh, then they won't do it, will they? All right, guess we'll take Liwa. I'm sorry, Toa there. Yes, I will take an oral marriage with you. And, um, I actually am going to send one regiment out to help, um, out the mountain Qatar. Because I believe that army does decide to attack them. I don't think Billy held it. And I may let them have Qatar. Uh, my allies. Because they are a, uh, a Shia. Yeah, they're Shia in this province is Shia. So hopefully they don't attack. Probably can't get Hedgehogs to join in. No, they won't. Yeah, war started too soon. We're getting through the stage of the siege. I'm really surprised. Uh, oh yes, this is perfect. There you go, siege. Just can I get? I can. Um. Ooh. I'm having them as my. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because I'll inherit my war with a. Uh, I'll inherit their war, and I don't want to do that. So I will let the war continue on for now. 
Oh, really, Hasa? You're, you're a piece of shit. However, now I have a much more powerful uh, leader. We'll actually head to Qatar, because that'll let me take the province. You know what? The Hasa performed their purpose for me. I don't care about them. However, now I have an alliance with Hejaz, who does control Mecca. No, well, I'm gonna go to war with Yemen eventually. Well, it has nothing to do with me. Yeah, but Bo uh, Bohemia is as always. I will take Naho. Now I could end the war right here. Uh you know what? It didn't matter because when I declare war on uh. I guess we may as well just not let Naj exist anymore. I could get them to release the Al Hasa again. You know, if I do that, that would actually good, good guy uh, Hasa here. Uh, access. Thank you, sir. All right, yeah, they're work. Um, I could get Qatar. Let's see if I... That would also be extremely nice. Ooh, I could get them to... You know what? Force Religion, that'll be good. Good for later on. In case I ever choose to take this. I could make them my vassal. We have a positive opinion of them, so I can improve relations with them. Uh, yeah, that gave us a lot of aggressive expansion. We're gonna have to burn this off. And we quite literally have like every single. S yeah. Let me core these provinces. Our income has gone up by quite a bit. Now we can have more troops, which is also nice. You know, I don't really, that might have been a bad decision. And that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Ah. Uh, no, I'm still not afraid. I think we'll be fine. That didn't actually boost my prestige. Oh yeah, definitely. More money, M mo money, mo problems. All right, or I guess mo have mo problems either way. Yep, yeah, now I have a problem. Wow, they actually want to defect. I'm still not worried right now. I beat those rebellions down, and I'll be good. That's fine. Don't care. Don't even know why you bother to notify me. Now, this isn't exactly what I wanted, because especially breaking my alliance with the head jaws. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't be a good thing to do. However, you know what? That'll be fine with me. It'll be good for now. I'm improving relations with Hedjaz. Influence. I proclaim a guarantee protecting them. So if the Mamlucks ever decide that they want Hedjaz's land, well, I guess I just got dragged in the war. Uh, I can actually ask for... Now what this does, it'll increase my opinion. Increase their opinion of me. There's something else I really want to work on. 
I think I may be able to offer them an alliance again. Not too, not too soon from now. All right, the coring is coming along well. I'll have to achieve religious unity. Well, we're coming along pretty good. Let's look at our trade map mode. Twenty percent. We're getting some more trading power, which is always nice. But I'm actually gonna make another bark. Now the reason why I oh, oh, oh. now I'm gonna leave the Indian factions alone for the most part because they'll let me uh there's this there and I actually have a natural border here but since I won't pop my armies will be elsewhere if I did get in the problems with these guys and. It would become pretty hard. Now I need to get to converting them. Seven years. You know, one province at a time. They're suzerain. That's a fancy word. You know what? We'll tech up. Technology Muslim. 838. Let's focus our efforts now. Let's cool down a bit. You know what? Because we need to burn off some of that aggressive expansion. As right now, we have quite a bit. Uh, maintain. No, I actually do want to pull them back. Alliance, offer alliance. Stop relation improvement, come back. So this is good. But. I want to see you come take it. Now we'll go over here. Um, relations improve. Now, if we want to annex them, we need an opinion of 190. And I probably should have taken this Binwas and Liwa and then uh, vassalized, but nah. Pretty much. And now, I will not take. Um, Sana, because that that is Yemen's capital. However, I don't need it. I want to take Mocha and Aden are primarily what I want. Aden is a center of trade for the Gulf of Aden, obviously named after. Mocha has a land bridge in Africa. Independence guaranteed by Yemen allied Mamluks. Yeah, we're basically just not gonna even go near Ethiopia. Discovery of the Canaries. All oh, fine and dandy. I will take a royal marriage for the Hejaz. You know what? That's fine. Small change. If I look, he still has a very high claim. That's not my country. 22, 16. I probably even have more. Uh, I even have more bonuses. So we're working on converting um, Ben Yas to Shia, not Shia, a body. I gotta take that hit. Having such a decrease is huge. And I really need to move this army to Benny Ass because of the conversion that's going on. Good, we got our boat was done probably like a million years ago and I just never noticed. A full ducket if we move it in Indus. Let's look at the train map mode. 18% power there. Good. This is what we. This is good. 
campaigns are getting a lot of money. And what is my uh, fleet modifier? I can actually support a couple boats. I'll add four more boats to my fleet. Law and order must be restored. Again, let's look at my piety and see what... A bit more money. We are on the Palatin. Does the Palatin not exist anymore? Well, I guess they don't. Yeah, Byzantium is fallen to the Ottomans. Not Constantinople, not yet, anyway. Oh, yeah, the cannons. No, Constantinople is. Oh, no, it's been sieged. Truce, you know, I don't care about my truce with Nodged. It's pointless because they're my vassal. This is big. So now I can, uh, I need to get my trade fleet together. You're gonna meet there. Uh, cancel the mission. Because this is a province I want to get. Go ahead, Jaws is helping out Najd. Because they really can't defend themselves. I'm taking Mahra. The Iberian wedding has occurred in Castile. We got pirates, really? Well, they're not affecting my trade. There I get the most money. I send them Indus. Indus is a very rich trade node. There's me. Apparently it says I have 20. But it says, uh... I think I'll finish up this war real quick and then I'll end the episode there. Yes, I love a good story. Yes, I do want that. Now, I will... Now, they're going to hate me for this, but I am going to peace out early. I guess I have to cancel it. Again? I guess I gotta do that because I cannot take that. That's just a big no no. I really can't even, uh, here I can fight this army, there now I won, head in there, fight that, very good, now I've pushed them out of Arabia, uh, no, we need the skills, yeah, this is what I want to happen, Now I'm only going to take Mahra. It's the only one I'm going to take. Oh, uh, we can advance in military tech. We'll get Muslim dual infantry next. Let these things happen. Oh, 
Alright, we'll head there. Front and then fight those guys. And we'll head up to Nahran. Getting closer to finishing um, the conversion to Shia. And I'm gonna spend some of my admin power to get up to uh, this level. Now, I really don't want them to have mocha. But I'm gonna peace out right now. Wait, you'll cede it to me? I only want these two provinces. Actually, no, I won't even take Mahran. Or you need to annul your treaties. I will... No, you know what? And I just want some of your money. Now. They're not going to be happy with me. Yeah, they're not happy. Oh, are you kidding me? Now, I have two provinces they want. Guys, we are going to um, we're gonna end the video right here, alright guys? So as always, if you like my other stuff, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. Peace. Or not, I guess.